Hello and welcome to another WordPress tutorial. Today's topic is dealing with how to insert a table in a WordPress page or blog post. Uh, so essentially, for this to, in order to work, you will need to download and install the WP Edit uh, plugin. And I have a tutorial on how to configure it so you can have this little table button here. I would advise you check that video out first uh, to see how you can drag and drop various uh, customized tools uh, or buttons into your toolbar that will allow you to do more things than what's available out of the box in WordPress. So let's get right to it. I'm here in the uh, editing a page called About Us and so the first step you would need to do is go over here to your table option if you want to create a table from scratch and under this uh, area here uh, you would select the number of columns and then select the number of rows you want your table to be um, outlaid in. Um, so this is probably a very familiar thing that you're used to within Microsoft Word, uh, but yeah, it's as simple as that. It inserts it in, but you're probably not too happy with the way it is at that size, and uh, you might want to stretch it out. It gives you the pixel sizes, uh, and of course you can stretch it down uh, to get some more padding, or actually just some more height to each individual cell. Um, but yeah, uh, to kind of get these to show up, you just sort of have to click in it, and then you see the little handlebars here. Um, you can also, of course, uh, drag it diagonally to shrink it proportionally. Uh, now, if you want to get pretty, uh, pretty, de uh, pretty deep into the granular levels of, of how you would edit this table, you can, of course, go into Table Properties and uh, manipulate it by, you know, actual pixel width, or you can do by percentage, as you see here. Height is not going to work on percentage; just so stick to a raw number. Uh, you can also give it some cell spacing and padding. If you're using Microsoft Word, all this will feel like a review. Uh, so you you could just kind of toy with these numbers, including the border width. Uh, you can also uh, you know kind of dictate what the default alignment is and so on and so forth. If you really want to go even further, you can attach CSS styles, border color, background color, and so on and so forth. So you can get pretty uh, intricate with what kind of options you have access to. Um, so that's basically how you would do it and uh, I don't really advise doing layouts in this sort of way just because it's it's hard to maintain over time but if you really need to do it and you're in a pinch and you want to get this sort of a quick column structure uh, enabled this is the way to go about it. Uh, Alright, thank you very much for joining me on this screencast. We'll see you in the next one.